Well, you know, that's a really good question. It, it forces me to reveal some secrets. Yeah, we like that. Uh, <laughs> GKTV uh, forces me to reveal some secrets. Well, there was, there was, there was, there was empires in Africa called Kush. Timbuktu, where every race came to get books. With my success to you, even if you wish me the opposite. Sooner or later, we'll all see who the prophet is. Subscribe. Dong Deso. Explained. And economics is a very important because with yes. GKTV, yeah. uh, one of our premises and one of the first shows that we've we've got coming on GKTV, so uh, be prepared, is an, a show on economics because we understand the importance yes. of economics and, the right. and not only do we understand it, making sure other people understand economics, so that you know that fits in uh, perfectly. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you've done your performances, so we we uh, followed you down to Brighton. You yeah. cordially invited hey, us down, for that. down for there. Out to that. Yeah, well, I remember when we hit the spot, we, we like we got out of the car, and you was like, "We need to get on stage." Just see, I ride The man was getting out the equipment. You was like, no, no, "Look, we don't need to get a camera." <laughs> and um, you know, so we draw, you know, draw for the camera, and then um, on the stage we had the footage at the back, and it was nice, right. and. Uh, Whilst there, and this is going to coincide with work that you've got coming up right. presently, right. which this is, you know, maybe a forerunner or two, as you said, it's an ongoing project. Um, on the stage, you you performed all the classics, right. which, which people know with with the same energy you were licking out like 25 right. odd right. years ago <laughs> and some. Um, you know, you had the DJ doing a thing. You had, you know, I like the, 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 the breakdown of the KRS mm -hmm. in the background, what it stands for. Mm -hmm. um, but then you had a couple new tracks which you mm -hmm. dropped exclusively down there. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the great thing in those tracks was the same essence of what you've always been about. It had that message. Right? If I remember, one of them was around, I think, the immigration or the mm -hmm. consi consideration mm -hmm. of immigrants. And I think, the, I think the next one might have been around drugs. Mm -hmm. Drugs okay. one. Yeah. yeah. And uh, both of those, I mean, the, the, right. the rhythm track behind it, Right. You know, because, uh, you know, Black Folk love a good rhythm track, you well, know, the rhythm track behind it, but so, then the vocal right. over it, the, the lyrical content and everything, and this is all part of work that you've got coming up, a, a, an album mm -hmm. that you're working on at the moment. Mm -hmm. So how does the tour coincide with the album? Is it a case of just getting a feel for the tracks out there? Is it a case of capturing footage to put this stuff together? What's the overall program for the album, what people should be looking to... Uh, well, you know, that's a really good question. It, it forces me to reveal some secrets. Yeah, we like that. Uh, <laughs> GKTV uh, forces me to reveal some secrets. Well, l let me hit you directly. Yes, the tour is, is directly related to the album, meaning that um, th the way that I write and, and have written for many years is that if it, if it doesn't move the crowd, if what I'm saying is not inspiring or moving the audience that I'm speaking this to, it doesn't make the album. I got a bunch of stuff that I like. I write, I, you know, beats I like, but they all have to be tested in front of a live audience. So a mixtape, I could just do that real quick. Spit some raw this is what I know our culture's about. This is what I know the audience I'm, I'm writing to or, or rhyming to. This is what they're about. I know what that is. I'm, I'm going by way of um, uh, historical presence, historical culture. I know what rocked you last week, so I'm going to hit you with that as well. I know what the classics sound like, so I'm going to hit you with that as well. That's my mixtape formula. But an album, or what is called an album, now is probably just a music project because you could do so much with every one person you're dealing with. I, you know, we were talking about releasing this album on uh, on a flash drive. You know, just release it on flash so you can get all kinds of stuff on it. Not just the album, but all kinds of interviews, pictures, links to other stuff, books, uh, all of that just in one flash drive. So... Uh, I, I'm reluctant to call it even an album. Um, it's more like a music project. Um, the music project is, is called uh, Now Hear This. Uh, that's the name we decided on it uh, because that's what this is. This project is really all about. It's something you really do have to hear. It's not like, oh, you got to hear, like, you know, I guess every artist says, yo, you really got to hear my album. No, it's not on that level. It's on the level of 
uh, you have to hear this because you don't know what I'm saying. M most of the rhymes that, that, that are going out today, even singing, most of the vocals that are in the airwaves, you already know what the artist is saying. You know what this is. This is a love song. Oh, this is you broke up with me. This is I want to get with you. Oh, this is the thug. Uh, this is the adventure. This We know what you're going to say. This album, you don't know what I'm going to say. And that's what I think you experienced when uh, they're in Brighton, where, let's say, Invaders, for instance, you know, how then can they talk about a border when they are the invaders? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, I really wrote the song for the Mexican population there on the West Coast, really all over America. But uh, I wrote it for the Mexican population, you know, as a rhetorical question. How can they talk about a border mm -hmm. when they're the ones that invaded your country? Mm -hmm. Like, whoa, that's like the heights of arrogance. Don't shut out no human being. California, you own Arizona, you own San Diego, and Texas alone. Stop, hey, so how then can they talk about some border when they are the invaders? Now, of course, the Mexican population completely understands what it is I'm saying. They totally get it. But when you take it out of context and put it, say, in Brighton, uh, England, uh, UK, um, you know, Brighton, <laughs> right there. When when you put it there, the song has to work again mm -hmm. to an audience that might not have a Mexican immigration issue, may have another issue, mm -hmm. but you have to be able to appeal to that. So the writing of that kind of song, and I chose reggae as well, mm -hmm. because for that, reggae is a univer universal language, I yeah. should say. I was going to say mm -hmm. universal music, but the music is a language. Mm -hmm. And so... That speaks to a, a, a the globe, really. Uh, I, I chose specifically that as opposed to hip-hop's basic 4x4 four four rhythm. I didn't want this song to feel that way. I wanted it to feel like we getting off the plantation. We, we, we you know, we're going to do this. Some Nani Maru time. Right, Nani Maru, right. That's where we're going right now, okay? Mm -hmm. So we did that. But when you do it, when you combine those kind of lyrics with that kind of music score, anybody from anywhere can feel the injustice or need for justice uh, in that area. So coming back to your question, yes, the audience has to feel the music and has to feel the the rhymes that I'm saying first before it even makes the album. So I may record 30 songs. 25 to 30 songs that I like, things that I get off on. It's a lot of my stuff don't even come out. It's just stuff that I like to write and I do. But I know within this, which are the ones that I'm going to test in front of an audience to see their reaction? And Brighton 
wasn't really a test, but it was. Every night is a test in that way. I was I did, I had premiered the songs right there, shot a video for them right there. So um, it was a test in 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 a way, and and the test went over well. Um, the other song you mentioned, Drugs One, uh, that had rum pa 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 pa. We are not the top ones. We <laughs> see how the drugs run. You know, governments are selling it. Mm. This is this is uh, this appeals to the globe. Mm. Everyone is wondering why certain drugs are illegal and others are not. Um, I end off with basically a shamanistic point of view, stating that uh, plants, herbs, roots are nature's technology, uh, making a distinction between harder, more, um, I don't want to call it like cocaine, synthetic drugs, but these things are high. It's like sugar. You know, there's sugar from sugar cane, uh, and it's brown. Um you know, like that. Then you have white sugar, you know, and it's like, yeah, you have the coca leaf right there, been chewed on by the Mayans for a thousand years. They never had a cocaine problem mm -hmm. until this guy show up and refines it and crunches it and adds this and this and that and that. Now it's this white powder, like sugar, mm -hmm. and all leading to the same slave ship at the end of the day. Exactly. So, you know, it's like we address these issues in, in, in the song. And the thing is, is that if the audience can, if the same audience in Brighton cheers for these lyrics, just as someone in Compton, California, just as someone in Beverly Hills, California, just as someone in Brooklyn, New York, just as someone, you know, on the Lower East Side uh, of Manhattan or Queens or Connecticut or Africa, China, Australia. That's how I write my albums, and and that was uh, and that's how they're tested. Songs that I do that don't really get the audience the way they're supposed to, they don't make it. Mm -hmm. They may get two or three runs. I may try it here, here, and there. If you don't really, if I'm not getting back what I need to get back, and it's not always a cheer. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I, I, I did a song that I no longer do, um, called "As Technical." Uh, me and Mad Lion did did this song. He produced the beat. I did the lyrics, obviously, and then he shot the video for it. You should look look it up. Um, KRS One "As Technical" mm -hmm. is called like "As Tech" and "Technical." Right. Okay. I, this was done just before 2012. Mm -hmm. When uh, everyone was freaking out, ah, the chips is all gonna come to an alien. Uh, in 2012, so I wrote this song, mm. debunking all of these myths, and it was written at a time when nobody knew what was gonna go down. Mm. So I put this thing out, put this song out, but I got into Mayan civilization, mm. and 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 got into how. You know, the Spanish invaded uh, uh, the Aztecs there. My, my, you know, there was mine, mine yeah, yeah, disappeared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they invaded the Aztec civilization. And and how these scare stories mm -hmm. are are now in our minds and, 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 and this kind of thing. It went over well all through the United States, especially mm -hmm. on the West Coast. More Mayan people were there. It was wonderful. After 2012, the whole rhyme and the whole song Really doesn't make much sense. Mm, right. So, so <laughs> it, it served its purpose. It done. It's but, but, and, and it's a video. You should yeah. go look at the video. No, we're, we're definitely gonna go. We're definitely gonna go and try. I think even when it's we chop that, we might put a little right. a little piece in there. So I might as well do this bit. And here's a clip of it right now. <laughs> I'm just throwing that in for editing, <laughs> editing purposes. If you don't like what you're singing, you sing a different hook. If you don't like what you're cooking, you get a different cook. If you don't like what you're wearing, you get a different look. You wanna escape all the is right there, we don't even look December 2012 got this whole world shook But look, the last days for others are the first days for us The question to ask is who can you trust? Respect to all that 2012 stuff But when you really study it, it's fear It don't apply to us, yo Hollywood lies to us all day The question is what does your culture say? Where's your culture at? Who's your prophet? What history guides your spiritual logic? It starts with a story, then it's hypnotic Then any myth that comes along, you just adopt it why? Because 
your culture, you forgot it. December 2012, let's continue this topic. Turn the page. The present world age began 3,114 BC. According to the Mayan calendar, this age concludes December 21st, 2012 AD. This 5,125 year cycle of time is one world age. Nothing changes overnight. It's all a process, a transition. It happens over many days. In the Mayan calculation, a kin is one day. The Mayan you and all, that's 20 days. The tune is 360 days. The cartoon is 7,200 days. The buck tune is 144,000 days. And they apply that to the Milky Way. In the cycles, they saw the sun moving across the Milky Way's equator, lining up with other galactic neighbors. We've been shifting for 30 years, it seems, from 1980 to about 2016. The shift is now, it's occurring now But if you're learning from the movies, you won't know how to survive Or stay alive after the storm Cause after that, a new world order is born Oh, you don't know, man, about they programs? You still watching Lindsay? You don't see that low hand? Let's go, man, the flood is coming Don't be scared, get prepared, keep your motor running Rock with me in the Aztec year one read. That's the year Quinsacola was prophesied to return from exile. In fact, Cortez played out the Aztec myth and took away those people's will to resist. Cortez played on religious beliefs and blinded the Aztecs because he was a thief. Look, the Yucatan, that's a Mayan book of cycles. It lets the Mayans know when the gods are going to strike you. In fact, every 13 cartoons you see, the Mayans are visiting with a catastrophe. So every 200 or 56 or 7 years, the Mayan people live with this fear. So on the island of Tyasaur, now Flores, the Spanish came on with this knowledge. They knew, according to the Mayan heavens, that the next cycle was 1697. So as the Mayans stood there fixed on the heavens, the Spanish showed up with all of their weapons. March 13th, 1697, the Mayan people learned a terrible lesson. Your fears and tears are used against you as 80% of world control is mental. But back to the Mayans, they're getting some more. 257 years after Tyre saw the U.S. back coup overthrows their democracy in 1954. That's exactly 257 years from when the Spaniards arrived at their shores. I'm getting to the core of the lesson. Let's see what happens in 2,211. That's the next cycle. The people remember, like 2012, the 21st of December. The consciousness may shift. You may turn the light, but you are the universe. You're gonna be alright. The pole may shift. Your soul may lift. The higher consciousness, but you know all this. The edutainment style will persist. Forget the fear. It's knowledge that runs all this. Swiss. My name is JJ Bona. This is Shakara. Hi, sister. My name is Empress Mani. What's up? It's the world changing McKellamine. You're locked onto Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush. Got Kush TV, the conscious platform for all conscious people. Stay tuned. There was, there was, there was, there was empires in Africa called Kush Timbuktu where every race came to get books With my success to you, even if you wish me the opposite Sooner or later we'll all see who the prophet is Subscribe, Dong Desa Black, black.